Why are you wearing a mask? I'm a little bit sick today. I want to avoid others from catching my cold. Why did you turn there? Isn't it faster to take that street? There's a lot of traffic on Main Street. I'm trying to prevent traffic. Bye. I'm heading to the beach. Hey, don't forget this. Sunscreen will avoid you from getting sunburned. Would you like some chips? No thanks. I'm trying to prevent junk food. In this video, I'm going to talk about two synonyms, two verbs, that are often mixed up by my students. I'm going to be talking about avoid and prevent. By the end of this video, you will have a better understanding of when you should use avoid and when you should use prevent. I'll be talking about their definitions and common sentence structures you can use them with. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and subscribe to my channel for more English lessons. Let's start with avoid. Avoid means to stay away from or try not to do something. When I think of the verb avoid, I imagine keeping my distance, not even going near something. I want to stay away from a situation. For example, if there's a big piece of metal in the road, I go around it in my car. I avoid it. When I'm trying to eat less sugar, I avoid candy. I stay away from it. If I'm concerned about how much plastic waste I'm creating, then I bring a reusable bag to the grocery store and I avoid plastic bags. I stay away from using plastic bags. So let's look at some common, simple, active sentence structures with avoid. I'm avoiding candy. They're avoiding Sarah. You should avoid traffic. We can also avoid actions. When we do this, we use the verb in its ing form. I'm avoiding eating candy. They're avoiding talking to Sarah. You should avoid getting stuck in traffic. Now, how about prevent? Prevent means to stop something from happening. When I think of the verb prevent, I think of interference. I think of a tool or a strategy to stop something from happening. I think of stopping a bad situation or outcome from starting. For example, my bicycle helmet will prevent a serious head injury if I fall off my bike. My helmet is a tool to stop a dangerous situation from happening. I get a flu shot in October to prevent getting the flu. I want to stop and block the flu virus so I don't get sick. I like to go to trivia at my local bar. The trivia host prevents cheating by making a rule that participants can't use their phones during the game. This rule prevents cheating. It stops cheating from happening. Let's look at some common, simple sentence structures with prevent. Exercise can prevent heart disease. Helmets can prevent head injuries. Security systems usually prevent theft. We can also use it with the ing form of the verb like this. Hand washing can prevent getting sick. Wearing a seatbelt can prevent getting injured in a crash. Taking breaks can prevent getting overwhelmed at work. However, this is what I think is the most common sentence structure with prevent. Subject, prevent, object, from, noun or ing form of the verb. I'm preventing my kids from watching too much TV. 
He prevented his dog from eating the garbage. Wearing a mask can prevent you from spreading your cold. Now let's take a look at avoid and prevent together. Remember, avoid means to stay away from or try not to do something, while prevent means to stop something from happening in the first place. There are some situations where you could describe similar ideas with either of these verbs, but the sentence looks a bit different. So, I'm avoiding candy because I'm trying to eat healthy foods, or I'm preventing myself from eating candy by not keeping it in my house. The main idea here is that you don't want to eat candy, but avoiding candy means staying away from it. And preventing yourself from eating candy means you have a tool or strategy to stop yourself from eating it. He avoided traffic by taking another route. Or using Google Maps prevented me from getting stuck in traffic. In the first sentence, I'm staying away from traffic. In the second sentence, I'm using a tool so I don't get stuck in traffic. If you're staying away from something, you're avoiding it, you're not stopping it from happening in the first place. I can avoid traffic, but it sounds strange to say I'm preventing traffic. The traffic is still happening whether I'm near it or I'm far away from it. Clear road conditions prevent traffic. Good road design prevents traffic. I can't stop it from happening in the first place. I can only stay away from it and avoid experiencing it. Similarly, if I'm afraid of getting sick, I can avoid crowded places. I can stay away from them, but I can't prevent crowded places. Unless I'm a business owner or a government official, and I can make a rule about the number of people that are allowed in a room, I cannot prevent crowded places. I only have the ability to avoid them. Grammatically speaking, the most important thing to remember here is that you cannot use from with avoid in the same way that you can use it with prevent. I'm avoiding my kids from watching too much TV. I'm preventing my kids from watching too much TV. Wearing a mask can avoid you from spreading your cold. Wearing a mask can prevent you from spreading your cold. Okay, let's go back and fix the mistakes from the beginning of the video. Why are you wearing a mask? I'm a little bit sick today. I wanna to prevent others from catching my cold. Why did you turn there? Isn't it faster to take that street? There's a lot of traffic on Main Street. I'm trying to avoid traffic. Bye, I'm heading to the beach. Hey, don't forget this. Sunscreen will prevent you from getting sunburned. Would you like some chips? No thanks, I'm trying to avoid junk food. Now it's your turn to practice. Write responses to these questions in the comments, and if I see any mistakes, I will correct them for you. Are there any kinds of movies that you avoid watching? Why? How can parents prevent their children from using their smartphones too much? Thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video and please subscribe to my channel for more. Good luck studying.